If you're black and live in the South, then you know this statement to be true. All good things for black people in the South started on a bus. In December 1955, a young black woman, a seamstress named Rosa Parks, refused to give up her seat on a Montgomery, Alabama bus in favor of a white man. Her actions soon led to boycotts and eventually to anti-segregation laws being passed. Parks' courage that day helped pave the way for other heroic acts, including here in Jacksonville. Several local African-American men were secretly being trained to finally move from the back of the bus into the driver's seat. It was only a few steps, but the journey was long and difficult. Amos Ely was one of the first to take on the challenge. So you hear people talking about, what did they do to you on the bus? I said, I, I got called the same thing on the bus that I got called off the bus. When he arrived here in Jacksonville back in December of 2012, CEO Nat Ford made it a point to meet those heroes who paved the way for him and so many other African-American men and women to achieve what so many thought they could not. I mean, you go back decades ago before everyone had the proliferation of automobiles, you know, the bus driver was seen as an icon in the community. People knew their bus operator. They grew up in the neighborhood. And uh, for them to be able to successfully transition and be able to work their way through some of those uh, opinions and, and individuals. I mean, I've heard some stories where folks didn't want to ride on the bus that uh, you know, was being driven by an African-American driver. They'd let that bus pass. And so, you know, for those gentlemen to stand up and be able to work through those types of slights and do a professional job and open the door for more African-American drivers and then eventually women drivers, same type of uh, uh, challenge there, um, I think uh, they, they, they deserve even more acknowledgement for, for what they're doing. And they're still here in this community. Local historian Rodney Hurst knows about that struggle. He was on the front lines for many of the battles against segregation and understands the significance of what was achieved. I've seen the evolution of transportation in Jacksonville from not having black bus drivers to having a black head of JTA and everything in between. You move on because you know that what has been planted through leadership intent is going to grow. And if it does not grow, then Jacksonville reverts back to that archaic thinking. If you ask me, did I go in thinking that? No. You're just a bus driver. Then again, Amos didn't give much thought to history and what his actions would mean for generations that followed. But Nat Ford knows without Amos and the people like him, he would not be in the role he has today. I would thought it was so important that I got a chance to personally meet them and shake their hand because if not for them, I wouldn't be sitting here, right? And uh, if we talk about the challenge of sitting in this corner office or sitting in this office, imagine the challenges that those gentlemen went through in terms of being the first um, you know, and uh, with that, uh, out of respect for their commitment, um, I thought it was important that, you know, the JTA recognized them when I first arrived, but continues to recognize them over time because uh, they're still there, they're still part of their, this community, and at the end of the day, uh, they help change uh, perspectives around uh, African Americans in these important highly respected positions. But was it worth it? Yes. 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 It's a star in your crown that you didn't even expect.